is a life I lead in the city Hurrying to cut my teeth Good morning, welcome to the special video. Today the crew had a nice plan. Mike, Guy and I wanted to ride a really long day on Swift. Because Focus has this campaign running, the Beat Your Screen Time campaign. And naturally because I work on my laptop and I'm on my phone all the time doing social media stuff, my screen time is insane. I'm doing on average over five, between five and five and a half hours of screen time every day. So the Focus Screen Time Challenge is about challenging yourself to beat your screen time on the bike, to ride more than you use your phone. Because we're still only allowed to ride outside with one or two people, we thought it would be cool to do this online on Zwift and see how many people we could get to join. And miraculously, we announced this yesterday and 20 people uh, joined this ride. Super awesome. It's two minutes until the start, I was a little bit late, but it's so cool. Everyone is in the chat. I'm going to give them a little bit of instructions of what we're going to do because I'm the ride leader of course, I created the meetup and then afterwards I'll update you on how it goes. The route is the Uber Pretzel, 129 kilometers, 2300 and something meters of elevation, pretty tough. Expecting around 5 hours, should be fun. I can take what I need to get by, doesn't make it easy, the other piece of my heart. Hey, sorry man. Oh, oh I was starting late. Oh. oh, so I had to catch up. 5k it took me. But now I'm in the group. Yeah, yeah, I just. Ooh. So, what do you said is the average we're going for between two and three right now? Awesome, cool. Yeah, I'm excited. Alright, see you later. Alright, so we are nine kilometers into the ride. Everything is settled down, we've all found each other and we're already on the first KOM, the, yeah, the epic KOM, that's what it's called I think, 600 meters of altitude difference, chatting away, it's not that hard yet, riding 200 watts, I'm, uh, I'm liking this, it's my first long group ride that I'm doing, all the others were either the focus live streams or races, but uh, this looks to be fun. Take me back where I I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. 15 kilometers in, we're on the first KOM. Of course, we still have to go up to the radio tower. But I believe Patrick had the fastest time because he started late <laughs> and uh, he had to catch back up with uh, the group. Kudos to him, I guess he pays the first beer. Oh. Feel the resistance kicking in. This is the extended Epic KOM up to the radio tower. Hey, hey, we are on the jungle circuit now. We thought we would have a quick phone call with Mike and Kai. How are you guys doing? Oh man, I need a new towel, I think. I never rode the Epic KOM, but uh, it was pretty long. Yeah, the radio tower, yeah, yeah. 17%. But now, uh, yeah, every the group is back together because on the climb and the descent, we all split up a little bit. I think we're about 10 people, I think, still. Yeah, I think so. And only 98.4 left. <laughs> Four hours. Four hours. <laughs> but now it's relatively flat, right? On the flat sections, we can ride way faster than when you're alone, as Kai just noticed. <laughs> oh damn, yeah. Getting dropped is, uh, or like not not paying attention, I think. But I definitely hope Leon gets back from her uh, from her ride, so she can bring me some coffee. Yeah, exactly. I'm home alone, so no coffee for me. And as you saw, my brother went and turned his his fan later on, and now he's four minutes behind. So. Uh, Making coffee is worse, I guess. It goes so fast, don't worry. But my arm is hurting from uh, holding the telephone. Okay. okay, are you guys listening to something? A podcast or music or not? Just to our chat. I think I will, uh, I'm going to call Rick. 
uh, for half an hour and then someone else. And All right, cool. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh. Again. 40k. And her music. Are they going in forward? The kilo. Mike is telling them to slow down. 2.5. Big and scary. The more climbing. Climbing up the volcano. Mm. Maybe they have a coffee stop over there. That's where I raised my time. That's last time. Totally lost. Attack too early. And then he caught me big time. Remember this forever. Right from the second climb of the day, the Volcano KOM will take around 15 minutes. It's proving to be tricky to keep a pace that is good for everyone because of course everyone is not equally fit and also the weights differ so some people are it's much easier on the climbs for other people it's much easier on the flat so for me two and a half watts per kilogram is different than from for Mike for example 44 kilometers in 85 to go it's definitely harder to <laughs> ride indoors than outdoors though like 44 kilometers outside doesn't feel like this so I guess it's a good challenge Back off. Hey, how was your ride? Good. How's your ride? Stop. We did 60 kilometers so far. Okay. No, but I need a coffee. Hmm? Coffee to eat? A sandwich? Uh, yeah, a sandwich Tosti? would be good. Tosti? Tosti, Tosti would be good? Yeah. Thanks. One hour and 55 minutes. Everybody's going hard again. We never had 2.5 watts per kilo. Never, ever. I'm drafting with 2.7. <laughs> Just 72k left and 1400 meters of climbing. Lovely. Just past the halfway point, gone 74 and a half kilometers right now. And we agreed with the other guys that we would take a quick break at 80 kilometers so everyone can go to the toilet and then we start up five minutes later again. Yes, definitely needed this. Thanks, <laughs> hey guys, just started riding again after the P-stop, 81k's in, still 48 to go, I think I already drunk 5 bottles and like 4 bananas, 2 Snelly Ellis, Dutch people know, but uh, really enjoying having the, the guys in my ears, chatting with some, people, uh, some other people that joined us and it's really nice, really enjoying my day even though it's raining cats and dogs outside. Finished my coffee and we did a quick five minute break at the 80 kilometer mark. But now we are back on the bikes for the final 50K. But I was talking to Mike and uh, Kai. There is a chance that we will push on to 160 kilometers because then we get the 100 mile reward. So let's see how we feel after climbing up this Zwift at the end of this uh, of this route. hours 30 minutes in we just passed the 100 kilometer mark and I received and Kai as well I think the the badge for your first metric century let's see if we can get that second badge as well today my legs are feeling good Kai as well right <laughs> yeah he's worried about the obvious lift let's see uh, what that does to our legs because I think we're making pretty good speed definitely uh, better than I expected 
Okay, 16.2 to go. Three hour 35. Oh, last climb. I hope you're swift. My legs hurt. Oh, I hope I'm not the only one in the group, but uh, most of them seem to be pretty fit. It's a really nice experience to do that. Over three and a half hours. That's crazy. I mean, never done that on a regular roller, but connecting with all these people. It's brilliant. Well, with now my first time I think about one and a half K in still 10 to go uh, and my time Mike and I came with the idea to uh, do 160k today which I thought was a good idea but now 11 minutes in the of the Zwift I doubt it a little still pretty excited to finally get some hours in I really need to focus on cycling bye Quick update, we're on the Alpe Swift now. I did two and a half kilometers on it, so 10 to go. The group is split up a little bit, so I'm trying to catch everyone. Just went live on Instagram for a bit with Mike. Now I'm gonna try to catch the first guys, see if I can get to the top first maybe. On the Alpe Swift, of course, you have the Dutch corner. And what the Dutch people do there is they stand there to cheer everyone on. It's a really good vibe always. And they hand over beers to the, to the riders that are going up. So I'm going to see if Leon wants to give me a beer when I'm in turn seven as well. Hope so. Final stretch of the Alpe de Zwift. I did four watts per kilogram average. So that DLI and Rick are in front of me. Rick is going to take the win. So hard. Everyone just went up the climb on their own pace, but pretty hard. Uh, I did it in 51 minutes or 50 minutes something. And now most of us actually, I think, are going to continue riding until 160 kilometers. So I've just let my little dude go down the Alp. It will take about 10 minutes probably, and it will do that without me needing to pedal. So I took off my shoes, my <laughs> feet were hurting a bit after 130 kilometers. Going to grab a quick drink and then we all meet at the bottom again uh, to finish the last uh, 20, yeah, 20 kilometers. Pretty epic challenge. <laughs> I definitely feel tired after climbing the, the Alp. Before that it was all good, but now uh, the Alp was definitely tough. Could have done it easier, like take uh, longer, but I wanted to push, and then it hurts. Okay, the descent is done. I was so wet that I needed to change my shirt. And now, Kai and I are going to continue to 160 together with Rick. Mike has knee problems, so he can't finish. Patrick is done. 
and uh, it's only 15 kilometers so we will just finish it quickly and get our badge oh man just finished the uh, 161 kilometers swift meetup ride first the uber pretzel and then in the last 30 k's with uh, rick and martijn Ooh, uh, what a day five hours and 32 minutes on the bike inside uh, my previous longest indoor uh, training ride was one hour and 20 minutes so uh, that was a bit longer uh, i think i need a, i really need a shower right now eat something real after all the bars and the bottles i uh, drunk and ate so uh, see you guys later okay i'm definitely done now cheers to many more of these challenges and to riding outside again when this corona is over congrats kai congrats rick and a shout out to everyone that joined the ride I'm going to end the video here. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Made it! That was a tough one. I was a bit scared when I saw I was the only girl that signed up for this. And honestly, I got dropped within the hour. So I finished the ride by myself with some great music, great snacks. It was a hell of a challenge, but I did it.